we are part of cloud kitchen industry where online food industry is something which is disrupting the traditional offline food industry and uh, i think it's a very growing demand because uh, while offline has still not recovered from the pre covid levels and the whole impact of pandemic where people got used to more dining at home and i that's, that's where the offline recovery is still happening i think the online delivery has definitely brought in a shift pattern of customers who are now more used to ordering online obviously we saw that trends much many years ago uh, quite a few years ago when rebel food started uh, uh, at that time we didn't start as a cloud kitchen company we started as uh, we wanted to be an organized retail and that's what jadeep and kalol wanted to be in and i think from there uh, we we evolved as a company i remember from 2012 having a 4 crore revenue in 4 years we were a 60 crore revenue and uh, over there we we were growing on top line but we were not growing on bottom line we were bleeding and this is where the cloud kitchen concept came into play when they had their eureka moment that most of the customers are not coming to our outlets they are actually ordering in in fact to the tune of 70% of orders were coming through delivery and people had not seen our outlets and this is where cloud kitchen concept was born and uh, it helped us remove the friction of rents which are really high rental and high location spaces mm -hmm. so with that concept this business of cloud kitchen came in and we have seen those trends of customers ordering continuously in and with that as this demand in the industry grows and does not only compete with the the offline outlets but also competes with kitchens at home like western countries this is where i can see, i can tell you where the demand is everyone will stop making food at home one day and will only order in so with that we definitely want to grow this year uh, we are at 70 plus cities globally uh, so our plans are by end of this year uh, 2023 2022 23 financial year we want to go to 100 cities in india and uh, also increase our reach globally so right now we are in 10 countries we want to go to almost 20 countries uh, while expanding globally uh, we want to keep on growing brands uh, other than geographical reach so in these 20 countries we look forward to add almost 250 to 300 additional locations in the coming year so that's how we want to expand our geographical reach i'll say that customers is something which we, is a pivot for us for everything this is around we evolve as an organization and customers comfort is something which helps us build the build and grow business and new business lines uh, let me give you a small examples uh, we we don't create things or do things what we can do we try to do things what customer want so uh, fasos is a brand where the company started as and today we are rebel foods so now fasos is available in 10 different countries but we don't offer the what we offer in india as a same offering in the rest of the countries we go to a country we listen what customer wants what they want to taste and we customize our menus as per what customer wants in that country uh, in london a barbecue fried chicken wrap is a the most famous wrap while in malaysia it's a different wrap which is not even available in india so we'll just keep on listening to our customers keep on trying to build uh, those demand needs into our ecosystem into our operating system and keep on making our operating system stronger so that's where our focus is a lot to strengthen our operating system rebel operating system when i call is completely i'll say uh, consists of our culinary expertise we have a huge culinary expertise which we have built where we can go and listen to customer and create products and then make sure that those products are broken down into sop so that they can be scaled at multiple locations we have a very strong expertise in terms of supply chain backward integration where we can go go and do sourcing warehousing moves food from one place to different place without any issues and uh, also we have a lot of technical uh, technological i'll say expertise built in over the years where we have our full stack uh, inventory solutions boss systems which any restaurant partner or any partner associated with us can use us and help us scale quickly so uh, and this rebel operating system is something which we have built as a core which we want to leverage in future by bringing more brands and partners on board and that has been our journey uh, so like we have a different business line called launcher business line which is equivalent to thrasio of food while thrasio just happened and few companies are doing this we started this way long back in 2019 we saw that customers had a need of coffee in the market 
we invested in a brand called slay and today that brand is the third highest coffee brand in the market so we are already listening to our customers and trying to build that on similar note very recently we did some investments in certain brands like biryani blues uh, zomos where customers can order momos and very recent smooth chocolates we want to keep on continuing investing in brands which are customer requirement which keep on which can leverage our operating system and grow and scale with us so uh, that's that's what we want to grow in and do so uh, internally we call them food missions but for you i can simplify that food categories we want to be in all food categories what customer want and either we build our own brands or we acquire brands or we host brands on our uh, operating system or we licensed some brands but we try will try to be in all the places what customer wants and how can we leverage that through our operating system so yeah that's that's something which i share that uh, we definitely want to be acquire more brands and we recently acquired zomos we we invested in them we invested in biryani blues and we invested in smore and we have initially invested in slay coffee and there are certain other brands which we are in discussions with which i can't share right now but we want to be part of all those brands which customers want they are loved by customers if they can be part of our ecosystem we want to bring them into our ecosystem i'll not say that we have not seen impact not been impacted definitely inflation has played some role where things may have impacted on the cost front but on the supply chain front there has been no impact because uh, largely we have created a very strong supply chain system where we are uh, controlling our end to end inventory uh, right from the raw ingredient to manufacturing it to processing it and then bringing into side inside our kitchens from where it can go to the consumers so we we are not dependent on anyone else to supply us we are taking ingredients we are moving them we are processing them we are bringing into our kitchens and then processing them as final food which you eat at your home so uh, i in covid times definitely there were some amount of disruptions which were there for everyone but i think the advantage with which we had was that we always foreseed some future and always carried that inventory so business never got impacted so business was always there and we kept on finding answers to how we keep on changing and evolving with needs so if there is something else which is shortfall we would cover up with something else but i don't see uh, i don't remember also if we had a major disruption of something not being available in our portfolio just because supply was not there so we have created a strong ecosystem which is very well knit and can speak to each other and we are able to correctly forecast that this disruption is going to come and hit us in coming months and that forecasting helps us planning well to cover up that disruption so we carry enough inventory covers and forecast well uh, as per the fluctuating demands to plan our supply chain